Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here for Rampant Design Tools, and I'm back again with another tutorial. This time we're talking about 4K flash transitions inside of HitFilm 4 Pro. Now, before we get in and start this lesson, there's something that I want you to do. I want you to head to your favorite browser. In this case, I'm going to use Chrome. And what I want you to do is to simply type in 4kfree.com. What that's going to do is it's going to take you to the Rampant Design Tools website where you're going to come down, you're going to enter your name and your email address, and you're going to get some fantastic free elements that you can use in your projects. You can even use them to follow along in this tutorial and really get you a, a good taste of what Rampant Design Tools has to offer before you decide to make your purchase. Trust me, this is well worth doing. Again, absolutely free at 4kfree.com. Okay, now like I said, we are talking about 4K flash transitions inside of HitFilm 4 Pro. So let's keep this introduction short and let's just get in and get started. Okay, so let's command and tab into HitFilm 4 Pro or obviously an alt and tab for my Windows friends out there. Remember, everything that I show you inside the Mac is going to work exactly the same inside of Windows as well. Now, the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to want to zoom in a little bit on my canvas here. So instead of just, you know, wheeling the mouse wheel forward and back, I'm just simply going to navigate right over here to my zoom. I'm going to come down to scale to fit. So this way, my footage will fill the canvas. I'm just going to hit play here. We've got some great... I'm not sure if you'd call this moto footage or if this is, you know, motorcycle footage. Uh, but what I've done is just put a very basic edit together. And what we're going to do is put some of our very cool rampant design tools flash transitions into our timeline. Now, again, what's important to keep in mind about these transitions is that they are 4K. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, Kev, I'm not working in a 4K project. I'm only working in... Uh, you know, an HD project, a 1080p project, or I'm only working on a 720p project. Don't worry. Just because these elements are 4K doesn't mean that we can't work with them. It actually just means that we have more to work with than we might normally have. Let me show you what I mean. What we're going to do is we're going to add a transition in here right off the top, right between this edit right here. Okay. And what I've done is I've just grabbed a few of them at random here. You'll see that I grabbed number 5, 10, and 19. So what we're going to do is I'm simply going to select one of them here. Let's select this one, and I'm going to hit play to see what it does. There it is, pretty quick, okay? So I'm just going to come back to the beginning here, and I'm going to come through frame by frame. And I'm just going to undo that because I don't want to drop that in just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come through frame by frame, and what I'm looking for is the frame where the actual light leak effect goes full frame. Now, I think I had just seen it, but let's just keep... Oh, actually, there it is right there. This is perfect right here. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to mark an in point right there. You'll see that as soon as I do the in points marked on my 4K flash transition, I'm now going to take that and I'm going to drag it and drop it right down here, and I'm going to snap it right to the edit point between two shots. Now, something that's important to keep in mind, if for some reason your timeline is not snapping the way that I just had mine snap, it could be because snapping is turned off right down here at the bottom of the timeline. So what this basically gets me now, if I hit play, is a cut to this transition, which most people might think, okay, well, Kev, so what are you going to do now? Are you going to put like a dissolve in there to make this work? Well, not quite. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this transition and just drag it all the way back. So again, what this gives us is a cut to black and then the transition like we think it's going to happen. Now, what a lot of people also think we might be doing here is that with the clip selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over to my controls. I'm going to come to my transform and I might be adjusting the opacity here. Not what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to alter this using transfer modes or blend modes as they're more commonly referred to. Now, how we access them inside of HitFilm 4 Pro is actually very simple. All I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the clip and you're going to notice the very first option that I have is blend. Now, with an element like this, I'm just going to come back a little bit that is basically your element or your RGB value on black, we're going to choose one of two options inside of the blend mode category. We're either going to choose screen right down here, or what we're going to do is we're going to choose add. Now, in many cases, I choose an additive blend mode just because I like the look that it gives it almost a burnt out look. And what I'm going to do is just step back a little bit here. I'm going to hit play on the keyboard and believe it or not, there we go. Boom. There's our transition. Now, what's important to keep in mind is that you'll see as I go back, it doesn't completely fill the entire frame. I can still see it a little bit. So you'll notice that if I come back, if I step back a frame here, it's never quite full. 
But what we could do if I wanted to is I could always take this layer. I could again come back to my let's come back to my media tab here. Let's just drag and drop it right down on top. We're just going to double it up. I'm going to right click, go blend and say add. And now we've basically just done that. It's now going to completely disappear right there. But to be honest, it happens so fast. I'm just going to undo it that you don't even notice that it's happened right there. Very nice. Okay, now let's actually do that again. I'm just going to take another one of these elements here. I'm just going to drag down, okay? Right to about there. Again, I'm going to mark an endpoint. I'm going to take this, drag it right down here to the next edit point. Again, exactly what I did before. I'm going to drag back, right click, and say blend mode additive. Perfect, okay? Now this is all great and everything, but there is actually something going on that I don't entirely want with these elements. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Kev, what do you mean by that? Now here comes our next transition, very nice, okay? What I'm actually gonna do is I zoomed in on the canvas. I'm just gonna zoom back a little bit. I'm just scrolling the mouse wheel back. Remember I mentioned in the intro we were talking about 4K flash transitions. So if you take a look at my 720p frame size here, the 4K frame size is huge in comparison. So basically what that means is that I've actually zoomed in on this element to only show one part of it, and I don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna come back to a part, actually right about there I think is good. And what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna scale this to fit, because what I wanna do is I wanna shrink this element down so that I'm not so zoomed in on it, so that we can actually see it sort of in all its glory, if I want, you know, if you wanna put it that way. Because these elements are really, really nice, and by zooming in on them, we lose a lot of that. So what I'm gonna do is simply right click, I'm gonna to come to transform, and I'm gonna tell Hit Film to tell this clip to fit to frame. You'll see now that we get a very different look in our transition, very nice. Now, of course, you'll see that when the transition happens, oh, well, actually it is pretty much full frame right there. Very cool, we come back here, hit play, and there we go, very nice. Now, of course, again, the exact same issue is going on here. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say transform, fit to frame, there we go, and it just gives the element a very different look. Now, what I wanted to do here as well, just to show you, is I'm gonna take these two elements, I'm gonna put them up on video layer three because I brought in another great element from Ramp and Design Tools. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna import it here. And it is a 3K fire effect. Because I wanted to mention that any element that you get from Rampant Design Tools, whether it's fire, whether it's you know flash transitions, whether it's you know light leaks or anything like that, they all function exactly the same. They're all very easy to use. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this fire element, I'm just gonna drop it into my timeline, we'll just crop it down here just like such. Now remember, this is a 3K element, so if I zoom back, a lot bigger than the frame size, okay? So we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did before, right click, blend, I'm gonna say add, but what's very cool now is that I can take this element and I can position it right up about there to really get it to fill the frame, just like such. So now what we're gonna have if I come back, and let me just have my element fill the entire frame here, I'm gonna hit play, here's my transition, and there's my fire over top of my footage, again with a, literally a click of the mouse, looking very cool. And you see that we can easily double up, triple up all these elements using the blend modes and just really just takes everything just to the next level. Now don't forget, if you want some great free 4K elements to work with, you can head on over to 4kfree.com and to check out our entire product line and some great tutorials to get you up and running nice and quick, you can check us out at rampantdesigntools.com.